Um, so Mitch Revs, welcome to Grassroots. Thank you, mate. And uh, tell me, for people who might not know you, um, what do you do and um, how would we know you? Who is Mitch Revs? Well, I, uh, I'm an artist and surfer as well. A lot of my art is revolved around the ocean and, and all things colourful, mate. I uh, grew up in Newcastle in a little town called Merriweather. Probably the last, I'd say, five years I've kind of been taking my art a little bit more serious and trying to make something out of it rather than just drawing on skateboards and surfboards and whatnot. And you draw on um, skateboards and surfboards and all sorts just of stuff? Just kind of all mediums, yeah. Anything I can kind of get my hands on, I, um, I try and, you know, put my own spin on it. And it's just kind of a reflection of my lifestyle, really. Yeah. Yeah. And Mitch, you've got uh, very, very white teeth. Did you get asked this I got, a lot. As soon as I walked in the door, the girls were at me. What have you done to your face? Like, this is how it is. This is how bad it is, okay? I'm talking to you right now. Yeah. You're someone I've never met. Yeah. And it's like... Yeah, of course. Just the whole time. Yeah. I get nervous really easily. And you, you're a tattooist as well? Not anymore. All my buddies were paying like 500 bucks for these little fucking slap-on tattoos. And I was like, um, you know, I like art. Why, why can't I do it? So we bought a shitty gun off eBay one night when we'd had a couple of beers and then it, it rocked up the next week and we got it out of the kit, looked looked on YouTube how to, you know, As how, you to do. Do, how to do it. Yeah. And um, Just like cooking bacon and eggs, straight, tattoos, straight, YouTube. Straight to the thighs, you know. And, yeah. um, so my, my thighs are covered in absolute garbage along with all my friends. And um, yeah, I love it. It's great. And do you, like, do you, so do you still do it or that's uh, in the past now? Look, I still get, once a week, I reckon I get someone asked asking me to tattoo them and I always consider it but it's it's kind of in the past for me now it's tucked away I know if I start again I'm totally doomed because I, I don't need, I don't need any more tattoos yeah and I know it'll happen yeah. <laughs> so when you're fully nude it's uh... I, can, I can take my pants off right now there's there's a lot of stories involved um, you've got the Arabs here which are my friends do your legs look like this besides the tattoos I've got a cowbunga tattoo which is weird the Lost Boys was a was a band that I made up for a week. Benny, one of my friends, that was really funny, and Jacko as well. It's all about grassroots um, yeah. here at Volley. And, yeah. and how old were you when you had your first grassroots? Look, I'm gonna say year nine. Could have been year. I don't think it was year eight. Definitely year nine. That's mate. Wow. In like, Newcastle. Do you think that's good or bad? Is that a bit late? I reckon that's no. I reckon that's early. But I think it was just like a free period. You know, you go home. No your, pun your dad's intended. At, your dad's at work. <laughs> your dad's at work. Your mum's at work, and it's like, all right, we've got how long? Twenty-five minutes, which probably didn't take that long. But it was, it was, you know, as good as your first or it is. Mm. It was shit house. Yeah. Well, Joe, do you do you scrunch or fold? I'm a folder. Yeah, good. I'm a folder. You know what's really funny about that question? What? And this is really weird for me to say this because I don't know why my dad talks about me being a folder or a scruncher. He tells all his mates that I'm a scruncher because there's no toilet paper. And I'm not. Ugh. <laughs> oh! Boom. Here you go, Mitchie. Thank you well very done, much. mate. Thanks. Bad luck. <laughs> Bad luck. Hey, I was close, though.